Welcome to Zen Yoga for Winter. So this time of year, the human organism is really designed to rest. Like the trees, all the external tends to drop off and there's a sense of nourishing the root. We're doing the same thing energetically this time of year when we're in harmony with the seasons. The water element is the key element this time of year. We want the water flowing. We don't want ice in the body. So mobilization is important as well. Now this time of year, we're working, as we mentioned, with the water element. Now the organs in the body, particularly concerned with the water element, are the kidneys, which you'll find here, okay, left and right of the spine, and the bladder, or urinary bladder, which you'll find right down here in the lower pelvis area. Now the um, energy channels connected with these areas are going to be worked considerably in what we're doing, so let's get a sense of them. So if you take um, perhaps an index finger, okay, find the corner of your eye, just inside of the eye, okay, just in line with the eye itself, and then we're going to go up, we're going to trace over the head, okay, left and right of the skull, left and right of the neck vertebrae, and then if you reach behind, perhaps with a thumb, left and right, and we're going to go down left and right of the spine. In fact, it's two lines here, but they're, they're both very relatively close to each other, across the center of the glutes, right down the center of the backs of the legs, and all the way around towards the little toe. Okay, And then if we come to the sole underneath on the inside, and then we're going to go up, and this is the kidney line now, going up through the inside of the leg, all the way up through the groin area, and then left and right of the sternum, the bone at the center of the ribs, right up towards the collarbones. Okay, so we've got a, a down loop that runs down the back of the body, and then this up loop runs up the front of the body. And you'll notice these areas we're particularly going to be opening up and releasing. Now, on an emotional level, when the um, uh, bladder and kidney lines, or, or the organs themselves, are in a bad shape or blocked or closed, um, there tends to be emotionally qualities of fear around. Um, it can go from quite heavy despair type stuff. It can go into a sense of everything seeming very difficult, kind of almost like pushing against an obstacle in, in every respect, um, to quite light sort of fears and nervousness, this kind of thing. When these are open, and clear, there's a sense of courage, there's a kind of a can-do attitude that begins to appear, where we kind of have this certainty that actually we can do whatever we turn our minds to. Okay? You may notice as we work in these areas, things kind of start to shift emotionally as well. Okay, so now if we can turn sideways on the mat and step wide. Have your feet roughly one leg length wide. And we want the outsides of the foot, this part of the foot, straight. So a little bit pigeon-toed, okay? We've still got the three points of the feet pressing down into the floor. And now from here, we let the hands come behind onto the kidney area. We make sure that the belt between the hip bones is activated, okay? And then keeping the front line of the body long now, we come forward. Stay soft in the knees, but you're very active in the legs. Make the body into a tabletop, that's it. And now strong rub in the kidneys, that's it. Good, really strong. The kidneys love being kind of kept warm this time of year. This is good. And five, four, three, two, one, good. Now just keep the hands here, keep the heat in. That's it, let the body soften a little bit further now, coming into a stretch. So we're opening up, that's it, coming all the way forward. Now drop the head, that's it, let the body go down. Okay, so we're opening up our bladder line here, 
right through left and right of the spine, down the backs of the legs. That's a gentle stretch. And five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now soften the knees, engage the belt, let the body come up. That's it, all the way up, up, up. Good. Now hands come onto the hip crease at the top of the leg. That's it, not above the um, hip bones, but right at the top of the leg, what's called in Chinese the kua. Now we turn the feet out just a tiny bit, 30 degrees or so. Okay, belt is engaged, and then we sink straight down. Okay, so the knees are going to bend. Now look down, make sure the knees are visible uh, outside the big toe, so you can see your big toes. The knees aren't flopping in. We want the knees extending wide here. Good. Now it's very important that you take this just as gently as is suitable for your body. Now it's very important that in this position you keep your belt activated. If I loosen my belt, see what happens here. Get a curve in the lower back, the bum sticks out. If we keep the belt activated, the pelvis stays square. Good. Now from here, hands into a prayer position. That's it. No gap between the palms. Press up into your fingers above the crown of your head. Let the elbows bend now. So the thumbs come to meet the back of your head, the back of your neck, possibly even between your shoulders, just as far as seems appropriate for you. So we're moving down and back in the knees. We're opening up this kidney line inside of the legs. We're opening up through the central line of the body, and we can assist this opening here by looking up a little bit above your eye level. Just feel the front line of the body long, but keep your belt working. That's it, good. So down in the hips, open through the front line of the body. And five, four, three, two, one. Now straighten in the legs, release in the arms. Arms come up, over, back onto the kidneys, turn the feet in. That's it. Good. And now we're going to come on the exhale. We're going to come all the way forward and into it. We're going to get a mobilized move here. Let the head come all the way down here, Ellie. That's it. Good. Okay, so down on the exhale. Now inhale, come up. Soften the knees. Hands together. Turn the toes out just a tiny bit. Sink into the pelvis. That's it. Good. Get your breath flowing. Keep the movement flowing now. Exhaling, coming forward. Toes go in. That's it. Inhaling, coming up. That's it, good. So we're opening up these two energy lines. We're energizing the body. That's it. Exhaling forward. Nice work. Good. Smooth, flowing. Inhaling, coming up, coming out of it. Mobilizing the body, energizing the body, strengthening the body. Good. Exhaling, coming forward. We're going to do two more. That's it. Inhaling, coming up. Hands together, sinking. That's it, good. Last one. Exhale. That's right. Inhaling. That's it, good. And then on your next exhale, coming up, coming out of it. Step towards the front of your mat here. Feet come in together. Okay, feet together. Hands down beside you, eyes closed. Just tune in to your body, noticing where within your body is starting to feel warm, starting to feel energized, starting to feel free and flowing. Noticing where within your body there's still more opening to come.